Welcome to Alphonse, and I'm stood inside a beach suite. So you can see it's quite a large living area, so it could easily accommodate two adults and two children. Um, you've got a large sofa bed just here that can fold out into a nice big double bed. And then we spin around and we look up at the, the main master bedroom. To the corner there, to the left, there is a bathroom, and there is a, uh, another bathroom just through here, uh, next to the main bedroom. You've got the shower area, and you've also got a sort of small balcony that goes on to an outdoor shower. So as we leave the beach suite, we'll go out to the veranda. And the beach suites are the second room category up, and they come with a small uh, private plunge pool. You've got a nice big sitting area here, so you can imagine that family enjoying a bit of shade in, during the day or in the evening. It's part of the pool and it goes directly onto the beach. The, the other thing I noticed about it is there's a really nice bit of distance between the rooms. Um, Alphonse is a very big island, it's a very lush island and the rooms are not close together. Um, you can see the nearest room just over there. So there's a really nice spacing between the villas. So you've got a lot of privacy and there's lots of jungle and foliage. And then you have the most spectacular beach. Uh, looks like the tide is coming in slowly. Um, so yes, and nobody here, probably all fishing. So there it is. That's the beach suite at Alphonse Island. Okay, so I've cycled um, through some pretty beautiful scenery, some thick jungle, uh, coconut tree plantation, uh, to the beach bar. And it took about five minutes, and as you can see, it's pretty chilled out here. So this is the beach bar. It's open from 3 p.m. until 6 p.m. And it's, uh, it's very rustic and very relaxed. Looks like there's a table made up for a special romantic dinner, maybe an anniversary, maybe a proposal. And there's that beach again. You'll see that there are red lights on in the bungalows. And that's to stop the turtles coming into the interior of the island. Because if it's a white light, they think it's the moon and they follow it go the wrong way. So there's lots of nesting turtles and baby turtles that hatch and need to go into the sea. Day two, it's about 6 p.m. I'm going to take you to the beach, show you what's going on. Very busy down here. Tricky to find a spot. So here we are uh, having the Sands uh, flat lunch, and it's about an hour's boat ride from Alphonse. And we are right out on a sandbank in the middle of the ocean. And back that way is Alphonse Island. Special place to do some barbecue. 